No, 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 no. Keep playing, keep playing. And we're gonna fade out. Because that's how we're supposed to do this shit, man. You know, we, we gotta fade it out. You know, radio does it. Everybody does it. It's crazy, you know? And, uh, yeah. Try to, give, try to be professional, even though... That's always been my thing. Try to be as professionally as humanly possible. Treat it as the real deal, but you're on a budget. So, that's my thing. Um, it's again like running a business. It's like, sure, you're the CEO and you're working out of your garage and you're working out, you know, you're living in your mom's attic or whatever basement, one of those spaces because they don't want you in the main room anymore uh, because now they're using it for storage or they're using it for anathos, you know, diabetes medicine. And yes, that's how my mother sounds. She sounds like a mix between. What's that book? Mewtwo? Not Mewtwo. What's the... Meowth and... Snarf. Hello. Hi. Uh, so, what do we want to talk about today on Morning Coffee with James? And I'm James. Oh, by the way, I forgot about the intro. I'm James. Welcome to my show. This is called Morning Coffee with James. So, what do we want to talk about today? Well, I don't know. I feel like I've been in isolation for too long, and I want to break free and I want to get it out and I want to explore and see the world but then again the world is just kind of like closed down for the day for the months and I actually I want to talk about this reopening thing that people are really worried about because it's like on one end people are like reasonably like afraid that no we should not open because of the disease and the virus and all this stuff and a lot of people are freaked out and also on the other end too like people are freaked out about the economy and like some people who are worried about the economy are like we'll risk it we have to keep the economy open and the people who are not worried about money are wanting to close i i'm honestly like on the end of like opening it and just do what we're doing naturally like make sure we clean ourselves we wash our hands we use hand sanitizer we make sure that we stay hot, like a like a nation of people who are health conscious and health and like you know healthy you know you know thought you know consciousness that i don't know what the fuck i'm saying but we gotta make sure we wash our hands and stuff like that and do the social distancing i mean we can't stay home forever and think this thing is gonna go away you know i, I think you know wearing masks okay fine we'll wear masks we'll, we'll get filters yada 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 but i think we should reopen but be cautious. I don't think we should be just clo you know, closed off for a while. Like, I'm sorry, I work in HVAC, and honestly, I want to go back to work. I want to go back and do installs. I want to go back and do putting duck work and get money and get enough money. People talk about, well, we need to get a career. I'm like, oh, I'm using this job to get ahead. I'm trying to, but every time I get a job, it's like somehow or another, it doesn't help out in that way. I don't know. I just find it very funny. It's like, I feel like the people are like, you got to stick with HVAC. And it's like, yeah, I'm fine. I will. You know, but I see problems with that business too. So, well, not the business itself. It's just people expect you to take a career in this option. And it's like, you know, nobody retires from this. I don't know. I'm, it's not the fact that I don't like construction. It's just a lot. I just don't like the fact that people are kind of like wanting to like, like kind of mold you into that a little bit like I feel like we worship work a little bit too much in this country and granted we should there's nothing wrong with worshiping you know praising the working class the blue collar the white collar it doesn't matter like I'm just tired of people like finding their job to be their identity you know what I mean like it's just a weird thing to me like you know some people well, some people are fine being who they are like a an ad man or an axe man or you know an x men or an hvac man a carpenter or you know 
you know, a plumber or, you know, an accountant. I'm going to do into my color ones too, or a, uh, or a banker or some kind of thing or, you know, paper ma or pencil push or whatever. It, it doesn't matter, you know. Oh, give me a second. But yeah, uh, it's just getting hectic out there. I mean, damn, people just need to work. You know what I mean? They have to go out there and just, you know, and get make that money right now. It's, and I know people out there are scared. All the Karens in the world are scared they might get germs and stuff like that. And are and, ironically enough, are going outside to basically be play nanny state and take pictures of people not following rules and stuff like that because they have nothing else better to do. And I know right now everybody's picking on the Karens, but I'll pick on them too. It's just... Well, they're calling them the Karens, which honestly, their name should be the soccer... Why, why do we went from soccer moms to Karen? Oh, because they're all named Karen. And it's like, maybe some of their kids just don't play soccer anymore and it's just like they have to come by a new name. It's like... The suburban, middle class upper middle class rich uh, housewives not rich housewives those are the those are the people who mother you know those mothers are against you know demand action and stuff like that and it's like this god dang it's like come on now this is like people Karens need to stop or we just need to stop breeding some like producing so many Karens into this world we need people to be like free think more free thinkers dang it and more free thinker parents because it's just like if you really look at it it's like that's like where our issue is right now is in a society is that we have so many of these people it doesn't matter if they're the SJW horse you know you know Claudsdale clocking all around everybody you know just trampling us and wanting to do things oh you can't wear that costume you can't wear that sombrero it's not a, it's like when did you decide what we could wear and not wear anymore it's like you you, you just want to shit on fun because you're worried about somebody else's feelings and yes that's okay we're not out here to make anybody feel unwelcome or anything like that but but I want to wear a sombrero because it's Cinco de Mayo, you know, or what, you know, wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, well, you know what's funny, though? They'll defend white people, they'll defend against white people wearing sombreros, but they will say we need to shut down St. Patrick's Day because it's a white privilege day. As an Irishman and somebody from of Irish descent, well, I'm not an Irishman, excuse me, I'm from Irish descent. Fuck you. No, because we're keeping that holiday. Yes, it represents the wrong ideal. It re represents the Irish in a wrong way. It's just a bunch of drunken alcoholics. But then again, or the, most of the Europeans have bars. Most of them are Irish. And I'm going to just say this. I'm not looking at any notes. I'm just trying to think. So it just it goes down and up. Uh, you know, nobody disrespects Martin Luther King Day. They have all pay homage to him, but imagine if the roles were reversed, I was just thinking about this, and imagine if the roles, roles were reversed for St. Patrick's Day and Martin Luther King Day, like how many people would be p more pissed off that, you know, a man who fought for civil liberty, you know, his holiday, his birthday, is now associated with just getting so liquored up and fucked up and crashing your car and just... Imagine that. Like, people will get so freaking angry. And I use Martin Luther King because it's more of, like, what this guy did. Like, he basically stopped, he basically helped, you know, bring everybody together. But Martin, but nobody knows the truth about, you know, St. Patrick. You know, everybody thinks, oh, he cleaned out rep reptiles from, like, Ireland. It's like, no, there's no reptiles in Ireland whatsoever. When he was talking about the snakes, he was talking about the savages, the pagans. The people were just sacrificing babies on altar. That's what he did. And yet, we act like pagans in the name of that holiday. Like, why in the fuck? It's like, you know, somebody who, you know, cleaned out heretics, now is now praised. It's, you know, now you celebrate his holiday by getting completely fucked up. It's like, it, and, and debauchery and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I, I don't mind it as... 
that kind of holiday, like me sounding like an SJW in a, in a, in a snowflake for that, it's like, I just find the irony in that. I just find the irony and the kind of humor in that. Because that's the only holiday. Like, and also Cinco de Mayo, which honestly, Cinco de Mayo is another. Is it another drinking? It's another drinking holiday, but it's celebrated as a drinking holiday and a kind of a not just a, a uh, drinking day, but a Mexican drinking day. So it's like you have to have like, and it's a fun one. It, we as a culture we accepted it into our like society. It's like oh another drinking holiday, and it's a Spanish one. Fine. Oh tacos, fuck yes. Sombreros, yes. Ponchos, hell yeah. You know mariachi bands, ole. It's fun. It's just fun and. You know, I think this is, again, I, I know I'm preaching to the choir because everybody knows this, but we have these people, who, and then again, it's these, well, the Karens are a different breed of monster in my mind because SJWs are usually consisting of young from 20, from 18 to like say 25, maybe 30 if they're just too gone, far gone. Uh, but... You know, they th those are the ones that are ruining the fun. Like the Karens are probably between, or like the Boomers a little bit. You know what I mean? The Boomers are like the later Gen Xers, and they're kind of like those are the ones more upset about somebody. You know, little Jimmy like skateboarding, or oh, this is too loud music. Oh, well, I'm 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 upset about this. You know, I didn't get my latte here. All these people out here just protesting with guns oh, I, oh, 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 oh. I need to control somebody so I need to do something because you have nothing at home to do that's where I get annoyed with the Karens a little bit you know that's why people that's the separation of that it sounds like I'm doing a date nature documentary here we see the Karen in her natural habitat and her nice house in the suburbs and a three thousand three million dollar house I'm sorry, I'm drunk today. We see Karen upset, reading and watching The View. She's drinking a glass of wine while, she's, while Rahul, her poor boy, is outside. She glances at Rahul and then glances at the TV. Uh-oh, there seems to be something upsetting there. It seems like Barbara Walters... Uh, is it Barbara Walters? I don't know. It's a, but The lady who looks like Bette Midler. And Whoopi Goldberg are arguing about Donald Trump. Oh no. Something offensive. She's going to get to demand action. She's a woman on action. Never mind, I don't know what. It's early in the morning. I haven't had my coffee. I didn't exercise. I didn't I didn't stretch or get warmed up. I'm tired. Last if if you want to hear something funny, last night I heard a loud thudding in the bathroom and I thought my mom fell or hurt herself or she just died. Uh, apparently, she saw a bug and decided to kill it three times. Just, just, didn't just do a good, no. She had to go, like that. And I was like, what is going on in there? Woke me up at 2 o'clock in the morning, because my mom watches NSNBC and Fox News and watches all these, you know, echo chambers to see how she can defeat Donald Trump. Hey, guess what? Just wait four more years. You know, I just find the irony in it. I just do. I just do. You know. I don't know. I just I just find it funny. It's like, yeah. Okay, so you would be okay with them being assassinated. Like you would be okay with another president being assassinated because it's not on your side. Okay, cool. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know what? I am I'm addressing my own like gripes right now, but it's it's just kind of funny in a sense to me. It is really funny because it's just like, yo, it's like, you know, you you're you're worried about everybody's worried about your feelings, but when it comes to push to shove, it's like, you don't give a shit about other people's feelings. You're like, oh well, you're a moron. It's like, what? Because I don't follow the democratic talking points. Is that it? And that's usually it. That's, and again, I I'm trashing my mom right now, but honestly. There's reasons behind that why I'm doing it. There's reasons behind why I'm doing it. But I might explain it in another video, or I may not, because I got some other things to focus on that more that's more important. My uh, video series called "Brother Dreams About My Brothers." Dreams about my brother. I gotta say the t title properly. Dreams about my brother, and 
I want to address the whole this the next one is kind of a more interesting one because it involves a lot more with visuals but also explanations on what it, who he is you know what the dream was about and what it relates to so yeah so I gotta get cracking on that script in fact I will open a cell text documentary no 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 okay so I just made that vanish into thin air get on there and start making this video because it has to be I have to talk about this because it's so weird and so bizarre because it's just how this dream presents itself how this dream uh, manifests because it's just so it's so it's it's so batshit crazy in that sense because it's like you know you have a dream and like you kind of interpret it, the different things in there and uh and yeah, uh, you know, certain weird things happen, and then like certain things happen outside of that. It's like that. Th it's been happening with this because it's just been a lot of strange things have been occurring recently. Like a lot of things that it have I've been dreaming about have been occurring in real life, and I want to I want to document it, and I want to document it and discuss it with you and talk about it. You know, and it's it's scary, but it's you know it's. You know, because it's like people are probably going to be skeptic. But you know, in, in the words of Gla in the words of like Elijah Glass, you know, you can explain away a lot of things that are extraordinary. But at the end of the day, it happened. So yeah, it's it's again that kind of thing. I will say though, it's what is this one? Is this nothing? It is nothing. Okay, good. It is kind of a strange beast. You know what I mean? Dreams. They are. I mean, damn. I feel like I'm running out of steam here. It really does. Like, right now, I'm, like, at 16... Well, 17 minutes in, and I'm just, like, kind of, like, mumbling along. Ugh. Give me a second. There's something else I want to talk about. Give me a second to think about it. There is something I do want to discuss, though, and I was just thinking about the situation going on now. And... This one last thing I do want to say, like, about this kind of shut-in, this kind of shut-down, this whole quarantine thing, it is really getting people to really think about their lives. Now, I'm just finishing this up, and, you know, I had to think about something else to talk about, but, like, it really is kind of making us think about our lives a little bit, because it's like... I think we needed like we needed a break from our daily like we need to do this 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 we need to do that that this is how this thing has to go because we, you know getting into this routine and some of us don't want to get like some of us are trying to break out of the routine but if we do there will be chaos but you know now that it's like kind of on a hold it's like people are starting to like be, again people are starting to be more relaxed a little bit you know be more you know, doing things they should be doing and figure out new things they trying new things they sh should have been trying a long time ago. I mean, for God's sakes, I have been exercising. Not I've been using what I have here to exercise and doing different things. Sure, I'm not going to be doing like new things all the time, but it's like, you know, maybe getting a few when I get the money, I get a few more things. You know, trying body weight exercises, trying a new bench where it's. Well, I'm balancing things and stuff like that. And yes, I am picking my nose. So, not picking, I'm just grabbing this part and just start wiggling around. And I do have a crooked nose. And for those who know the story of this, you know what happened. So, I'll tell that in a different video. But, anyway, 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 anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at... I have, a, I have my computer hooked up to the TV and I'm look, looking down here. And it's like, I don't know why, but... But things are just really strange at this moment and I mean like this I think this would be the best time to like really kind of like I don't know I'm just talking I, I think I'm just done talking now that's it I I try to I try to continue with this but honestly my final thoughts are basically this it's that it kind of is getting us into doing things that we should have been doing a long time ago like right what was it yeah I'm talking about the weights and stuff like that but uh, you know, I'll make a video tomorrow. You know, screw it. This video has gone far along way too much, and I'm also just kind of, like, not focused. So, 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, love you, bye-bye, and remember to stay safe and be positive, all right? Stay strong.